We had a, um, another whole line of research was about utilization of coal and of uh, heavy oils. Um, so uh, one idea for that is what's called integrated gasific gasification combined cycle, IGCC. And that's an idea where you would, instead of just burning coal like you do now, you would actually convert it into synthesis gas. And then you can use the synthesis gas to make uh, either power directly for electricity or you can make it into liquid fuels. Um, and we were exploring the designs where you would capture the CO2 that's made in that process and then sequester it under the ground. And we're trying to figure out are there preferred designs that would be most efficient, involve the least amount of capital, and be the best at capturing the CO2. Um, and so we uh, were part of a quite big team at MIT that was assessing all aspects of that problem. And the part we worked on a lot was on how do you capture the CO2 and also how do you capture mercury because the coal has mercury in it. Um, more recently I've been working on a related project is trying to capture sulfur. So we're trying to take uh, heavy oils that have a lot of sulfur in them. Can you clean them up? Can you get the sulfur out? Because the sulfur is very uh, bad to emit to the environment and also it poisons the catalysts which are used to control emissions. For example in your car's catalytic converter. So we um, uh, we have a whole process, a new process for removing the sulfur from heavy oils. And then we also are discovering new chemistry there and then trying to make uh, models for that using our, our calculation techniques so we can understand what's happening with all these strange sulfur reactions. So we can figure out how to optimize the process and make something that might really be commercial, commercially viable. So the IGCC project, for example, was funded by uh, BP. Um, and they were part of the BP-MIT uh, alliance through uh, the MIT Energy Initiative. Um, the project of desulfurization is also part of the MIT Energy Initiative uh, uh, collaboration uh, funded by Saudi Aramco. Um, we also have, have a lot of projects with the uh, automakers and actually with other oil companies interested in trying to help the new engine succeed. So actually BP for a while was funding us with Ford uh, on the HECI work so we could, um, they, were, they were interested in exploring whether this new kind of engine is going to succeed in the marketplace, how can you make the best possible version of that how good would it be so they could you know, know themselves that this is the new technology coming down the pike. And we were interested to try to see can we find the best way to make this work so it could actually become the new technology that was coming down the pike. Um, so that was, that was a very interesting project. Um, and then separately we have a lot of funding from the Department of Energy um, and from the National Science Foundation who are very interested in the fundamental questions. Can you actually predict the chemical reactions? Can you actually assess the alter alternative fuels?